So in this equation, we have lead to nitrate plus ammonium chromate. This is a double displacement reaction. The lead, this lead ion here, and the ammonium ion, they're going to switch places and we'll end up with these products. So let's balance the equation and we'll use a bit of a trick to help make this a little bit easier. So we count the atoms up. We have lead, that's PB, one of those. And then I see NO3 here and I see it again here. So I'm just going to count that as one thing. NO3. Three, I have one of these times the two. So I have two of those. Ammonium ion, this is a good one to remember. So I have the NH4, that's the ammonium ion, and I have two of those. And I can do that because I have ammonium ion here and here. And then this chromate ion, I have it here and here. So I'm just going to count it as one thing, CRO4. And that makes things a lot easier. I have one of them here. It's just a lot easier to keep track of everything. So on the product side, let me write the atoms here. So I've got the one lead, one nitrate, one ammonium, and then the one chromate. So when you look at that, all of a sudden you see you just need to double the nitrate and the ammonium. You have two here, one here, two here, one here. So all you have to do is put a two in front of the ammonium nitrate. Now you have your one ammonium times two, that gives us two. These are balanced. And you have your one nitrate times the two gives you two of those. And you're done. This equation's balanced. So it's really about how you set this equation up. You recognize it's a double displacement. And then you see you've got a nitrate here and a nitrate here. Ammonium, ammonium, and then that chromate and the chromate. So you can count those polyatomic ions as one thing. It makes it a lot simpler. And it really makes it apparent what you need to do to balance the equation. This is Dr. B with a video for user Yo I'm Here, and thanks for watching.